Okay. You're okay? Okay. So one, two, three, uh, let's start. Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Gordon Coe, and I'm a specialist in physical medicine and rehabilitation. I'm assisted here by uh, Dr. Kevin Ho, who uh, has the unique distinction of being both a, uh, a specialist in nursing and intensive care and also a chiropractor. We've worked together for um, over 10 years, and I've been using botulinum toxins for treating uh, chronic pain for 20 years. Now, just to give you a little overview of the different uh, options with botulinum toxin, uh, since 1995 in Canada, we've had Botox that's been approved uh, from um, Allergan in the United States. Uh, it's uh, the one uh, neurotoxin that has approvals in pain conditions such as chronic migraine. But all three of the uh, botulinum toxins are approved for cervical dystonia, of which 90% of presenting patients will have generalized pain. Now, in 2009, we have approval for Zeomin, which is from the uh, German company Mertz, um, and again, approved for cervical dystonia and spasticity as well. And two years ago, in 2016, we have from the UK, the approval for Dysport from Ibsen, uh, which is also approved for uh, cervical dystonia. So, uh, with our uh, patient, um, uh, uh, who um, we've written, published upon, she's been getting um, botulinum toxins for well over 10 years. In fact, uh, right now, this is her 40th session of botulinum toxin. And this has really helped her keep mobile with her wheeled walker. Um, we've tried other things in the past for her. Uh, she's had cortisone injections, uh, visco supplements do not work, uh, PRP would not work in someone who's on blood thinners. Having had um, a, you know, uh, a small stroke, um, with some spasticity, and also um, heart disease in the past. In fact, she is not a candidate for having a total knee replacement because of her um, frail health. So these injections have been done every uh, three months. Uh, we did have a, a brief period of time where we had to stop because she did have a, a heart issue, and that limited us from being able to treat her for about six, uh, six months. But uh, here she is again uh, today, which is, um, what day is today? The August, the, uh, August 21st, August 21st, 2018, having her 40th session. So she's thumbs up, keeps her mobile, keeps her going. Um, and this is what we'd love to see in our aging population. Uh, we need to move forward using a multidisciplinary approach, different specialists working together as a team. And importantly, um, also making sure people are going from synthetic foods to more plant-based foods. Diet is a very important part of the whole process. She's also been able to lose weight to keep things going. And also, um, you moving from synthetic um, drugs, painkillers, to more plant-based medications, such as uh, medical marijuana, which is now uh, also a big part of our multidisciplinary practice here in um, Toronto, Markham, actually, in, in, in Ontario, Canada. So thanks for listening, and we uh, will um, hopefully connect in the future on research projects. Uh, we do have um, an associate called the Canadian Association of Orthopedic Medicine, which I'm president of this year, and we will certainly invite you physicians to come uh, join us in future meetings. CAOM.ca is the name of the organization where we teach doctors on doing these type of injections to help our patients um, not only um, control their pain, but improve in function and quality of life. Thanks for listening.